the Delhi Purple Sapphire is considered to be a mysterious and deadly cursed object. During the mutiny of 1857, a British soldier is said to have stolen the mystery stone from the Temple of Indra, the Hindu deity of war and weather, in Kanpa, India. Also known as the Gem of Sorrow, this enchanted stone brings misery, misfortune, and terrible sadness. Colonel W. Ferris, a Bengal cavalryman, removed what he thought was a purple sapphire from the shrine before leaving India. After that, he returned to his family. Ferris began to endure a series of financial disasters when he returned to England, bringing the family to the verge of bankruptcy. When the rest of his family began to suffer from serious ailments, he shifted his attention to the stone. When he gave the stone to a family friend who mysteriously committed suicide, his worries were verified. In 1890, the stone was presented to Edward Heron Allen, a scientist and writer. Soon after obtaining the gem, Edward lost all sense of reason and blamed a series of negative events on the stone's curse. In 1902, Heron Allen reluctantly consented to let a friend borrow the Delhi Sapphire. A succession of misfortunes happened to the friend almost immediately. He returned the jewel to Edward, who began experiencing troubles once again. He threw the stone into Regent's Canal out of frustration. Edward assumed he had finally rid himself of the gem. But it was excavated from the canal and sent to a local jeweler a few months later. The jeweler recognized the stone right away as the one he had set for Heron Allen with two amethyst scarab beetles and the symbols of the zodiac. So, he returned it. When a friend asked to borrow it many years later, Heron Allen gave it out once more. This time, the unlucky receiver was a professional vocalist who could never sing again after wearing the cursed jewel. The Delhi Purple Sapphire, according to Heron Allen, is accursed and tainted with the blood and disgrace of everyone who has ever had it. He kept it hidden in seven boxes, surrounded it with good luck charms, and placed it in his bank vault. Heron Allen died in 1944. Despite Heron Allen's insistence that the box not be opened for 33 years after his death, his daughter delivered it to the Natural History Museum as soon as she could. There it sat until 1972, languishing in a drawer until curator Peter Tandy unearthed the sapphire and the unusual letter that came with it, chronicling the stone-specific tales of misery. Do anything you want with this package, whoever opens it. However, my recommendation is to toss it into the sea. The Delhi Purple Sapphire is now permanently on exhibit in the Vault Collection of London's Natural History Museum.